Have you ever wondered how artificial intelligence could revolutionize missile control systems? Imagine a world where missile control systems are driven by intelligent machines that can analyze vast amounts of data in split seconds. The current systems are highly sophisticated, but they still rely on human operators to make critical decisions. Now let's think about integrating artificial intelligence into these systems. This isn't about replacing human operators, but enhancing their capabilities. AI could offer potential benefits, such as an increase in accuracy due to its ability to process and analyze data more efficiently. It could also result in faster response times, as AI doesn't tire or get distracted. But it's also essential to remember that AI, despite its immense capabilities, lacks the human ability to make moral and ethical judgments, something crucial in the field of missile control. But what if we could fuse the best of both worlds, the precision of AI and the judgment of a human operator? This is where the human-in-the-loop approach comes into play. Imagine a missile control system, where artificial intelligence isn't the sole decision maker, but rather a tool that augments human abilities. This is the essence of the human-in-the-loop approach. It's not about replacing human operators with AI, but empowering them with AI's capabilities. Picture this. You're a missile operator, and you're faced with a potential threat. Instead of solely relying on your judgment, you have an AI system providing you with crucial insights. It's like having an intelligent assistant that can process vast amounts of data in a split second, highlighting patterns and correlations that might be hard for a human to catch. Let's delve into a real-world example. In an air defense scenario, a swarm of drones is heading towards a protected zone. The AI system, with its rapid data processing, identifies the drones, predicts their trajectory, and suggests the optimal response whether it's deploying countermeasures or adjusting the protected zone's defenses. However, the AI doesn't make the final call. That responsibility remains in the hands of the human operator. The operator considers the AI's suggestions, but also brings in their experience, intuition, and understanding of the broader context. The AI is a powerful tool, but it's the human who holds the reins. It's a collaborative process, a partnership between man and machine, each bringing their unique strengths to the table. So, an AI system might suggest the best course of action, but the final decision would still be in human hands. So, what does this mean?